going to try some Distress Oxide sprays through this stencil. This is a messy process, just an FYI. So the colors I'm using, I just used, the pink was the picked raspberry, <clears throat> excuse me, one of my very favorite, um, the mustard seed, and then this is abandoned coral. You have ink all over the top of this, right? So instead of wasting that, grab some computer paper and make papers, right? So cool, that's amazing. Mm, I love these little bits. These are so cool. Love. I mean, this is going to need to collage into something. Here's what's underneath. Right, so I have dried this with my heat tool, and I'm just taking my little Paint Pixie Mermaid brush here. It's a watercolor brush, and it already has the water in the tube, which makes it so stinking easy to cut this thing out. The oxide sprays, they can always be reactivated if they get wet and I definitely don't want that to go on. Some more matte medium right on top. Hmm. That's pretty fun, huh? Just, this would be hard to move around here. I gotta just be so careful. Okay, so those are on. They are transferred right on. And so I'm just gonna do the hummingbird and the flowers. All right, you guys, I love this. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I really like this. More matte medium on top. Let's protect these transfers. It's one last coat over the entire composition. Just a good old idea. One more little thing to tell you about. I actually added the page number that was in that strip. Um, it just, it needed something right here. This was too blank and this is absolutely perfect. It leads your eye from here to here to here, you know, or the other way around.